scientists discovered what the Earth would be like without photosynthesis. Life without photosynthesis would have been difficult. This is because living things that depend on plants for food and shelter would have died out of hunger, meaning Earth would have been something else due to lack of life. Are there living things that maybe survived without photosynthesis? And if so, how did they manage? What are the contributions of photosynthesis to Earth? Join me today in this video as we discuss more about what the Earth would be like without photosynthesis. Contribution of Photosynthesis in the Early Devonian Period In New York, Catskill Mountains dominated the western horizon. The hillside was packed with green vegetation. A sandstone quarry existed which was a source of building materials for the neighboring cities. However, this was not the only contribution it had on Earth. In 2019, scientists discovered an amazing structure in the quarry. A radial structure was seen. When they first looked at it, it seemed like lightning had struck. Unfortunately, it was not what they thought. This was a fossilized roots of ancient trees. The roots of the Catskill Forest were the roots of the first forest on Earth. The rocks with these fossils were 385 million years old. During this time, large animal lives depended on oceans. The land surface was filled with green plants. During these times, every plant was striving for dominance, leading to the witnessing of greater heights among plants. Reason behind this height competition among plants was light. This gave rise to the Archaeopteris which became a giant as it had surpassed the ferns and other trees that were in existence. It had woody roots and branches. This enabled them to stand 10 meters tall. Later, that ancient forest floor was turned into stone over time. Light led to the growth of more trees which led to the spread of trees globally. Landmass drifting gave rise to Pangaea. This collision that was experienced between landmasses gave rise to mountain chains formation. During this time, sea levels were high. Plants spread their roots deeper for water and anchoring purposes. The dominance of trees in the world opened a way for animal survival. The arthropods moved to land from the oceans for the first time. Insects also evolved and started living in the trees they were depending on for food and shelter. They also spread their wings for flying purposes because the environment was favoring them. Carbon dioxide was replaced by high oxygen levels and it was no longer poisonous. This was possible because the forest had dominated the world. Photosynthesis is the backbone to all these processes. By the use of light and chemical energy, the world became a different place. Life was initiated more and more. Even the higher life forms survived. As the forest dominated, there was fresh air and clean water in the lakes, oceans, and rivers. As life evolved, many things also emerged. Technology was present and this helped scientists to send rockets up the sky. The aim behind this was to analyze the spectrum of light in the view of the sky at night. This would help them to understand the composition of the atmosphere. What would the Earth be like without photosynthesis? Evolution is vital and if it succeeds, it gives a chance to an organism to continue into future generations. Photosynthesis is a chance that led to the change of our planet. It is the one that has always supported life that has grown on Earth. Therefore, a world without photosynthesis would have been a world without vegetation, industries, and technology. The absence of photosynthesis would have led to oxygen absence in the atmosphere, leading to the absence of human life on the other hand. Without photosynthesis, which helps in precipitating the great oxygenation event, Archean oceans would have resisted. High levels of carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere would have also continued. This process would have continued to wrap the Earth in a thick, insulating blanket of greenhouse gases, leading to an increase in temperature levels in the atmosphere to a worse stage. As years go, the heating process becomes worse, making the young sun burn hot enough to keep the oceans liquid. Had begun to mature, the core has nuclear fusion that builds up heat that is received by Earth. This process goes on for years with a thick blanket of carbon dioxide. Methane and water vapor heat absorption takes place. Hence, occurrence of the greenhouse effect which deactivates Venus. Earth is located at a distance of 40 kilometers from the sun. Its location is the one that helps it to maintain its oceans because of the heating that occurs on the surface. Volcanoes become active, tectonic plates shift, and life holds on. Presence of photosynthesis gave a chance to hire life forms to survive. This includes human beings and big animals that would have not survived in the absence of photosynthesis. Probably animals, humans, and vegetation could have been affected each in a different way. Human beings were to die because of the high carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. 
The presence of this carbon dioxide blocks light from reaching the Earth's surface, hence no light for photosynthesis to keep the plants alive. This in return would have affected the animals because there would be no vegetation to feed on. Life on Earth would have been boring. This is because nature has a great contribution to our planet. Life in the Archaean Period during the Archaean period, life survived without photosynthesis, and instead of feeding on sunlight energy, the photosynthetic bacteria used mineral energy. But if this was the only way life could survive, we could be having a different biosphere from the one we live in currently. Around 2 billion years during the evolution time, communist surveyors in the southern country of Romania began to investigate a building site for a new power plant. And as they were digging a tunnel down, they came across a massive void that was several meters deep. At first, it was difficult to notice this massive void because the ground was intact. But as they dug deeper, they came across a vast clay-lined carbon system. It is hundreds of meters deep. It was darker because for 5 million years, there was no light penetration. However, in this era, life still survived. Blind insects and invertebrates crawled with the basic motions that were present. Reproduction, food finding processes were initiated by earth energy and not light energy. Microbial chemosynthesizers used any chemical energy they came across. Sulfurs, methane, and ammonium were the main energy sources for these bacteria. They lived in water sources and walls of caves which helped to acquire mineral food, which they later transformed to the energy they require. After the transformation, they gave out their waste production into the atmosphere, leading to increased levels of carbon dioxide as compared to oxygen. This leads to the bad smell in the air and presence of water that is filled with sulfuric acid. On the other hand, for the chemosynthesizers in animals, it was a benefit for them, since this is what they were depending on. The cave that existed here was an opening to the world without photosynthesis. Microbes also adapted to survive in less mineral existence. With the help of their waste products, microbial dominated the world both on land and in the waters. The chemosynthesizers lived in the new rocks that were exposed by chemical corrosion, which later moved deeper into the crust for food and water. During this time, dark forests were the one that dominated Earth. These were microbial stalactites in caves. These organisms would survive in any environment but in the presence of fresh chemistry. Limited minerals during this time are the ones that alter the existence of higher life forms, which we are currently sharing an ecosystem with. There were no predators during this time. Grazers were the only ones existing as they crawled in the chemosynthetic world. Over 2 billion years ago, photosynthesis came into existence and it gave life on Earth a different turn. This brings us to a conclusion that photosynthesis has a great contribution on Earth. Without it, our planet will be something that has no form. Even where destruction occurs, the Earth has many chances of recovering due to the presence of light. Scientists believe that photosynthesis is inevitable on Earth as it would have been anywhere else under the same chemical conditions. Unlike the bacteria that survived in the Archean period in the absence of light, the current living things require light for survival. There is no other option for survival other than light presence. We can't even imagine how the Earth would have been without photosynthesis which has been a breakthrough for everything we are seeing today. Because Earth came into existence, but how life could be supported was a concern. Thank you for watching this video and please remember to subscribe so that you are updated when we upload something new.